Hey everybody, Paranormal Video Gamer here. So, I went on AliExpress and I bought this. This is a 4, it says 4 terabyte. You can clearly see that on the box. And it says right here, M2 SSD. I thought that was kind of suspicious. 540 MB and 450 MB. I thought that was kind of weird because... I don't remember that actually in the advertisement on AliExpress. And it came, you know, with, you know, just basically information. And it says right there, Samsung. So I was kind of like, okay, maybe this is a, you know, an SSD that was, you know, um, refurbished. And because they can't sell it at full price, that's why it was so cheap. So, it says in the advertisement, which I will pull up right now, and I will show you a screenshot of the advertisement on AliExpress. I'm also going to send AliExpress this particular video, and that's why this is important, because on this particular screenshot... Okay, you can clearly see the screenshot says completely different stuff. And it says it's compatible with PlayStation 5. So I installed the drive. I decided that I was going to use um, the, the regular drive that I have. This is a one terabyte that I had previously installed in my PS5. I figured, oh, four terabyte. That would be like a lot, a lot better. So... As we can see, it's already installed into the PS5. I'm going to push the button. And you can hear the machine pop up. But this is what happens when you go and load up the drive. I'm showing it in real time so you guys can see. Can't use M2 SSD inserted into the expansion spot. Use an M2 SSD that meets the requirements. It says Gen 4 or later. Capacity 250 gigs to 8 terabyte. Now, according to their website, this is fully compatible with PlayStation 5. So I'm kind of like dumbfounded that they would even put this onto the website when it's not compatible whatsoever. It's not going to randomly pop this message up and say, oh, it's not compatible. No. It's because this is not an SSD. This is a counterfeit SSD, and that's why it's so cheap. Now, I'm only going to say how much it cost me, because I don't want anybody to go through the process of having to return and deal with AliExpress. This took almost a month to get to me and I thought oh this is legit this is a four terabyte you know SSD this is awesome you know I think anybody would think that but this is not legit this is literally a counterfeit SSD and it looks like an SSD it just doesn't function like an SSD it's probably like instead of a gen 4 it's probably like a gen 2 or gen 1 and they repackaged it and they resoldered it to make it look like an ssd that is currently available it's not it's never going to work no matter how much they tell you it's going to work it's never going to work if it's not allowing me to work off of this right here and it's saying that it is not compatible because it needs these requirements it means it's fake it's counterfeit it means somebody did something to a previous chip and made it look like it's legitimate. It's not. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to show you what it looks like so you can keep an eye on what it actually looks like. Alright, now I'm going to show you the inside of the PS5. This is where you put your SSD to show that it is literally what is advertised as an SSD and it's not an SSD and I knew that there was a risk that I was gonna buy this and it was not going to be an SSD so I didn't want anyone else falling for this because I had a feeling a sneaking suspicion that it was 
you know, too good to be true, as they say. So I'm being very careful. I just want to get the case off. But as you can see, it says right there, this is not what I ordered. But it looks like an SSD. Okay, it looks like an SSD. I mean, from just the overall perspective of a SSD, and I'm trying to, sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand. I mean, it pops out, and it looks like an SSD. And it says, 4 terabyte. It's not an SSD. There's no way that this is an SSD, even though, again, it says it is. Again, it's saying it's not compatible. It's not. So I'm going to put my, my normal one back in, which is the one that I have right here. This is my one terabyte from Samsung. And this one I know for a fact. i got to get rid of that screw. Yeah, don't forget the screw. I, I learned that lesson a long time ago. Um, but yeah, this literally just kind of pops in. You kind of have to wiggle it a second. And sometimes it can be a little, a little tricky. But yeah, see how, see how that went in like a lot quicker. Like literally, if you were to I'll show this real quick, if you were going to put it in, you kind of just. It's kind of weird to describe, but you, like there's a little clip that you could see. It's kind of hard to see, but you'll hear it like snap. If I can get it in there correctly, yeah, you'll like you hear that little little tiny snap, and then you just push down. That's how you know that it's an SSD that's going to fit. And then you put your your one screw back in, and sometimes these screws can be a little bit of a pain. In the new know what, but yeah, I'm just showing. Up. I can't do this with one hand. Um, let me close this up real quick and uh, show you guys what it should look like inside. Okay, as you can see, I've got the SSD reinstalled. Lids down. Trying to do this again with one hand. Not exactly fun to do with one hand, let me tell you. And I got a really cool kit that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby that I use. So this is what the kit looks like. Show the kit real quick. It's only eight bucks. So it's got like a whole bunch of like tools and stuff. Totally worth the eight dollars, let me tell you. We're going to put the lid back on here. There's the lid. Flip the system around. Since I have it laying down, we're going to come over to the TV real quick. Hold on one second. I want you guys to hear me actually put the system back together. So you guys can, can clearly hear me moving stuff around, getting stuff redone. Unfortunately, I have to, uh, there's a certain way that I have to kind of put it in here. All right, here we go. Be very careful putting this back in. And I'll show you what happens when you load up a real SSD. Okay, there's the system lighting up. Now it should pop up. As you can see, no issue whatsoever. It's reading everything, it's loaded everything, and again, no issue. So I'm kind of wondering what AliExpress is going to do, because I don't think I should return a counterfeit item. So don't waste your money on AliExpress, wish 
or Timu buying an SSD because they are not legit. They are crap. Just a friendly warning from Paranormal Video Gamer. Have a good night, everybody.